Man, it really does feel good to be back. Because yes, we are here now with episode 22 of Lamello's Legacy. And obviously we're getting later in the year, but this series is still popping off. I'd actually say it's doing its best right now. Because you guys on last episode almost got 10,000 likes, which is insane. So first of all, thank you. But the reason that this episode did take a little bit longer to come out is because we have to reset the whole team. As if you didn't see last episode, we made the finals for Dark Matter Lamello Ball's debut. And yes, we ended up winning the whole whole entire playoffs and winning the championship, which actually makes this episode so exciting because now we have to go through the rewards and get our new team. Because you can see here, these are the rewards we got for winning the finals last episode and getting that championship. First thing is we got three spins, which I'll get into soon. Then we also got 200,000 VC, which is gonna be so good. We also got the MVP from season two to be brought over to season three. We also got Dark Matter Phil Jackson as our coach and the championship ring. So that now means that this team right here yeah is pretty much gone. So now it's time to get into what we actually got from the spins, the MVP, and also one thing else. So first things first, if we look at the voting on the MVP, I left a straw poll in the description of last video. It was actually quite close, but yes, this Dark Matter Paul George ended up winning. So that means we were able to bring this Paul George over from this team to our next team. So thank you all for voting because Paul George is a beast. Now also you may remember with this Alonzo Ball, I said that we had to get 7,000 likes on last episode for me to be able to keep him for the next one. And uh, yeah, you guys destroyed it. So that's the reason why, yes, we are able to keep Lonzo Ball as well. So just like that, we already have Lamelo, Lonzo, and Paul George in our squad. But now we got to do three spins of the wheel. And if you don't know what this means, basically every single player on my team, except for Paul George, Lonzo, and Lamelo, we're on a wheel and I got to spin it three times to get three players from this team brought over to my next one. And I did it on Instagram Live. My Instagram is linked down below. It's just at Killsamoy. And we had quite a few people in there to see it live but let me roll it and let's see what we got first spin up let's hit it please please be a good player we need like a center oh we still keep grant hill next one up we have two more spins after well one more spin after this one this one here i did need a center who the final spin is oh we miss wow we got o'shea really I think that's an L. Yeah, so to be honest, it wasn't really the best, but that's why when you look at my team, three, two, one, bang. This is my team right now. I mean, it's not the best. Like I, we've got an okay starting five, I'd say. Our spins really didn't go great, if I'm being honest. But in exciting news, we do have Phil Jackson as our coach now. So he gives plus 10 to so many attributes, making every single one of the players in season three much better. But probably the most exciting thing is we have a bonus 200,000 VC to spend on packs. And they have these Team USA packs, so I really want to open up these. And obviously our team is going to get crazy just after one episode, but hey, it's late in the year, so I feel like it's only right. Anyway, one more thing before we get into the packs. As you guys know, each one of your likes equals 5 VC, and because we were able to get 9,793 likes on the last episode, which first of all is just crazy, if we times that by 5 and add what we had left over from the last one, we have just over 50,000 VC. But that means once we add the extra 200,000, we have all up two. 252,545 VC. That's just insane. So obviously be sure to smash that like button because each one of your likes does equal five VC for the next episode. And you never know, your like might be the difference in the series because we might pull a dark matter thanks to you. Anyway, I'm doing this a lot differently now. It's time to open up packs. Now look, I'm going to allow myself to open up one box and then the rest of the packs I do have to be non-deluxe. So let's go into one box and hopefully we get a dark matter. I've seen people pull so many dark matters from these packs, but I feel like in Lamello's legacy, our luck might not be the best. The good part is, as you know, each one of these packs guarantee a Galaxy Opal or higher. So we got to see a lot of these. I want this to be Anthony Davis. And is that Anthony Davis? No, that's going to be Chris Mullen, I'm pretty sure. I like we got to add him to our bench for sure, but I'm not going to use him. We just want to see that Dark Matter shake. Let's see it. Nope. Another Galaxy Opal. Like it's so weird, but I actually have to skip these. There's no way. Back to back, Chris. Dark Matter pull. Pretty please. No, it's in the same spot too. Just a Galaxy Opal. Oh my, there is no... Bro, back to back to back, Chris Mullins. Already, we've only got one player in our squad. Added to the team, that is. Um, number four. Maybe this one's going to be better. We got a dark battle. Let's go. Okay, that's exactly what we want to see. It's in the same spot as all the Galaxy Opals, but bang. That's right, we got a Dark Matter in Lamello's Legacy Season 3, Episode 1. How exciting. Let's hope it's an Invincible card. Invincible card, please. Okay, 99 overall, 10. Is that Kobe? That's going to be Kobe Bryant. Let's go. That is such a good pull. It's weird now that I'm going to take Alonso out of the starters, but Kobe, I... 
uh, there's not a better card I'd want on the team, to be honest. Yes, let's go. The funny thing is, he really doesn't go for much, but I am so happy to actually get him in Lamelli's Legacy because it makes you grateful for absolutely everything you pull. Oh yes, I got the next player I really wanted to because we need a power forward and this one's going to be Anthony Davis. I like this box so far. Three new players and another Dark Matter. Two Dark Matters in one box. I know these packs do guarantee quite a few Dark Matters. Well, don't, not guarantee, but you're quite likely to get them. Let's see who this one's going to be. Number five is that small forward. Kevin Durant. No way. No way we just got KD. Oh my word. This is going so well. Kobe and KD. Fire. Okay. Is our team getting too good after the first episode on season three? I don't know. But anyway, I can't really complain. It's late in the year, so we're all good. Why would I complain? I'm not complaining. This one is Tyson Chandler. Actually a good card for us. That's definitely one of them that I wanted. Can we get three Dark Matters in one box? Yes, we do. What is happening right now? Oh my word. Let's go. Three Dark Matters in one box. Maybe I have to do a box. Well, I can't even afford it, but let's hope this one's an invincible card. 99 overall, number 13. Is this James Harden? Point guard. Um, that is... Oh, it's Chris Paul. Okay, um, let me chill out. Not really the best, but still, I'll use it. Look at how small he is. Oh my. I can't believe we just got another Dark Matter. The most I've pulled out of these packs is three in one box, so can we make it four? Oh my... Dude, what is happening right now? Bang! That is another Dark Matter, four in one box, back to back two. What is happening? What is happening, please? An invincible card, that's all I want. 99 overall, num that's, oh, that's, wait. No way, that is D-Rob. I, I, what, that is an invincible, oh my. Dude, this is the best box ever. Best box ever. I just got Invincible D-Rob, the best card in the set. I needed a center too. And we just got D-Rob for the player. What? Oh my, oh my. And we still have one more pack to go. If we go back to back to back with Dark Matters, I don't even know what I'll say. Okay, it is just a Galaxy Opal, but what a box that was. Maybe, maybe I just save up for another box. I think that might be what I do. Number 12, point guard. Is this John Stockton? What's popping? So I know we do obviously have quite a bit of VC left over, but I'm actually happy with how my squad looks right now that I definitely want to save up for another box instead of just doing singles. So anyway, let's add these players to the team. Are you ready? Because three, two, one, bang. This is our squad and what just happened? We got Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, but most importantly, Invincible D-Roll. This is the best card you can pull in the set and we just got it in one box of Lamelo's legacy just a look at that starting five it's absolutely beautiful i know our team is looking so good after one episode but every team we go against is going to be like this so we obviously need Lamelo to pop off because now it's time for me to actually get into explaining the rules i know it's taking forever to get to this point but yes if you don't know the series is fully based around Lamelo ball and you can see on screen right now we have the upgrades and downgrades now these rules never change except they did get halved from the vc amounts they were at in the playoffs so that means for example if we get 30 or more points with Lamelo, I get 15,000 VC. But then we do have the downgrades, which also minus things off our VC. But my favorite thing of it all is always the top comment rule, because this is where you guys leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And we just had so many suggestions. So first of all, thank you. But yes, the top comment was by Virtual VFX, and this one's called the Ben Simmons Playoff Challenge. And it's kind of funny, but hey, we got to do it. As it says, every brick from Lamelo Ball or Lonzo Ball equals 7,000 VC. Now I can't lie, I was a little bit confused because I don't think we should be gaining VC from missing shots. So I changed it to minus 3000 VC. So really we don't want to miss with Lamello Alonso that is. Then the second most liked comment is by the big boy and it's called the Lamello's team challenge. And it says since the Hornets got 33 wins on the season, score exactly 33 points with Lamello and get 33,000 VC. So I think this one should be good because we can't go a point under or a point over. So 33 it is. But then we have the bonus comment rule and because I read through all your comments, I just pick one that I personally like. This one literally has zero likes, but I read it and thought that's pretty cool. And it's by Eli. And I feel like we're sending hate to Ben Simmons, but this one's called the Ben Simmons challenge again. And it says, since Simmons has been passing out of good shots and dunks in the playoffs, for every pass out of a shot that leads to an assist is 5,000 VC. I did change that one again, but 5,000 VC is definitely quite a lot. And I feel like this one should be pretty interesting. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the top comment rules. Be sure to leave your suggestions down below in the comment section. As I said, I love reading through 
through them and you guys really do add a big part towards this series. So thank you. Speaking of that though, all of you who liked my last episode, thank you especially because you are the ones that allowed us to keep this Dark Matter Lonzo. And this card is pretty much your guys' challenge to keep in the series for as long as possible. Because yes, we did get over 7,000 likes, as I said. So he's safe for this episode. But if you want to see Dark Matter Lonzo in next episode, we need to hit 7,500 likes on this one. Now, is that a lot? Can we do it? I don't know, but you guys keep on surprising me. So be sure to hit that like button down below. Now, is that all I need to say? I don't know. All I got to say though is, wow, this team is crazy. It's literally a God Squad already. I'm kind of annoyed about that. Because the best part about Lamella's legacy is building our team from pretty trash to them really good. But yeah, with one box, our team became really good. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's time to see how this team can go. I'm 23 and two, so you guys know I'm not cheating. And also you can see we're zero and zero for our run to the playoffs. Now to make the playoffs next, we do have to win 10 out of the 12 games here. But if we win all 12, we get invincible Bol Bol added to the squad. So that could be fire, but we have to start out strong in our first game. So hopefully we can get this dub. Without further ado, let's get to it. And we're playing against Toby Bailey's uncle. So an interesting name, but I feel so confident in this team that I don't know. I feel like we can beat any squad we go against. So Kobe Bryant this time, not actually a great shot. Okay, what am I doing? He's definitely got a good team with all these Team USA players, but Lamelo this time gets us the two. That's what I'm saying is we're going to go against teams like this quite a lot because, you know, like Dark Matter has come around quite a bit now. So D-Rob this time, invincible card, getting the slam. Let's go. Great defense there by Lamelo, And we pull down D-Rob's first rebound. Let's maybe take it all the way to Kobe this time. Um, I was going to throw a lob there, but back out to Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant for the two. All right, we'll take it. As soon as we add new players to a squad though, my team always plays so badly. So I'm a little bit nervous that that's going to happen this game. But Kobe this time, he's a beast and he greens in the corner. Get this board, get this board. Yes, KD comes out of nowhere to grab that one. He's just so tall and now Lamelo. That's going to be a break. That's minus 3K. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a tough game. I'll be the first one to admit it, but let's try and get a pick and fade this time with D-Rob. D-Rob hit it. Lamelo this time. Yes. Oh, I fouled. Why did I do that? Perfect defense. Come on, boards, boards, boards. D-Rob, you are getting up high for them, which is what I love. And now I'll give it to AD and then um, maybe Lamelo out wide. You can see that my opponent's defense is just so nice and it's because it's so hard to defend with these types, of, so hard to score with these types of players. What I meant there is it's just so hard when you're going against such good defenders. So anyway, going against Magic this time, once again for the slam, he's brought his bench on. He's got Dark Matter Harden and that was not good defense right there. But Dark Matter Harden, Bol Bol. I wonder what version of Bol Bol that is. Let's jump here. All good. I'm happy with that jump. And you can see we get the steal straight after. It is only the pink diamond version. Luckily, I hate going against the Invincible. Maybe could have just shot that. That's okay. Personal foul. What? No way. How does that send him to the line? How is that a... I'm so confused. That play there just threw me off so much. Like, what is that? How does that happen? I really don't know. Anyway, we need a pick and fade this time. I love this Anthony Davis and I will say it. Wow, I thought he was my center. Turns out he was my power forward. Okay, and D-Rob makes an insane shot. Our defense is looking pretty good here. We need to jump at this. That's all good. And then hand up on this one. Get out to Terry this time. Perfect defense. I just don't want to foul. And he does get an okay shot up. We need to defend that. We really do. I'm bringing on my bench now just because I feel like my starters have done well, except we can definitely do a lot better. So back out to KD this time. He expected that one. Maybe we just need to run to the left. I'm telling you, I'm finding it easy to score. Okay, that's good defense. Give me this rebound. But I'm just finding it a bit hard to score with Lamelo in the in hands. So anyway, back to KD this time. Kevin Durant from three, green. Okay, he's really packing this left side and I'm not complaining at all about that because it means that our defense should be a bit better on that side and that should be a steal. Come on, bro, that Kobe, you just have to grab that. You just seriously have to grab that. That is perfect defense though. D-Rob, you are killing it right now on the rebounds especially. And who do we see here? Kobe, Bean, Brian, four, three, missing. That's all good. Back out to him for the second shot. That one's good. So I've now brought my bench on, except I decided to keep Lamella on the floor. Obviously, I could easily have just shot that. This one though, we're shooting and greening, but it does now mean we do have a bigger chance of losing some VC because we have Alonso on the floor as well. So I don't know how this is going to go, but let's shoot this one with Lamello. That's going to break, isn't it? Wow. All right, what do we see here? I'm kind of feeling Lamello just all the way. Maybe free throw is good. We're actually scoring pretty well with him. 13 points and to make it 14. Yup. That has to be a steal. There is no chance in the world that isn't a steal. And how? How? Okay, I need timeout. Yeah, look, we need to make some changes to my team, especially to the bench. They suck. And one. I cannot lose this game. I just need to focus up on my defense. We had a couple of plays where... 
How does he not get blocked? I swear every time I take a shot like that this game, I'm getting blocked. Every time he does, he just gets the dunk. So it's so annoying, but Lamelo this time in the corner, hit it for me. Good. We got to win this jump ball. We got to win it. And we don't. Oh my. Okay. All right. It's fine. That's a terrible shot. Give me that rebound, says D-Rob. I feel so much more confident with D-Rob on the court, especially Kobe too. No, I don't. If I keep on missing shots like that, I guarantee you I'm going to lose. Okay, AD. I like that one. You know, I was looking at this next pass and we almost had it on Kevin. Kevin Durant. I just need to watch this corner, this wing pass. You ready? I know he wants to make it. So let's get up there. That's perfect. And it just doesn't go to us. It seriously is just, the ball is just not going our way. And that's a pretty good shot. And he misses. We don't get the rebound. And finally we get a steal. That's the way it feels like we have to get our plays. Okay, we need something here. I'm just going to post up and then give it out to KD. KD, big shot from you. That's a green. Good, it's tied. That's beautiful defense. Rebounds. Oh my word. Oh my word. I am so done. So done! Okay, Lamelo gets his first rebound. I seriously need a score here. And Kevin Durant is the player to do it with the two. Good. It's a terrible shot. And wow, we actually got the rebound. I did not expect that. I'm looking at KD this time, but it looks like he is going to be defended. Lamelo all the way. That was so tough, but I don't know how that was even close to being open. Lamelo this time, it's a two, but a good shot. And I may have just made a pretty big mistake. I decided to call every single one of my timeouts. So we don't have any for the final quarter, which is really dumb. Um, we need him to miss that. Good, and that's the end of the third. We're down by three. And now we're down by five, but Lamelo has so much more energy. I'm really expecting bigger things from it. You've... Oh. How has this worked out for him? That's just the real question that I got to ask. How has this worked out, out for him? That should be a steal. Every single day of the week, this should be a steal. Nope, it's not. This should be a block. Okay, we play good defense at least. It ends up being a result that we needed. And now, Lamelo this time. I think I got to take more threes. I seriously think I do. Lamelo this time. Four, three, greens. Let's go. We're getting stops now. And I'm looking at Lamelo this time. But D-Rob to Lamelo. Lamelo ball. Again, back to back, baby. Kind of want five more points too to get an extra 33. 3K. Is it worth to do it though? I don't know. We have to try hard and Kobe this time, big shot to put us up by three. Bro, let's go. We get another steal. Okay, Lamelo this time. Lamelo ball. Back to back to back threes. Oh my word, he made it. Was that a three? No, it was only a two, but still, what a shot. When I'm locked in, I'm locked in, I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Lock in, Dub Nation. That's us right now. We're going to take this dub. Oh, he's going to pass over my head and then make that shot. It's a white. Lamelo, you beast on the boards. And I wish Kobe ran out to the three point line there. He just didn't. Kobe ran out to the three this time. Kobe, Bean, Brian, Greens. And now Lamelo has takeover. I do have to be careful here though, because I don't want to take a bad shot with him. But this is a good shot for 33 points. No way, no way. Oh my, I actually missed. I actually missed. That sucks. Oh no, he just greened that. Wow. I won 33 points so badly, but I also really need to win this game. So Anthony Davis out wide. Um, Let's go down low. Lamelo for 33. And also to put us up, bang. That's a steal. Lamelo gets a huge steal right there. And now Kobe Bryant, he has to foul. Clear path? No. I really can't score with Lamelo again, which is so annoying. But Kobe this time, get me that score. Yes, sir. Lamelo, get that. Oh my, the... That has to be one. That's good defense though. Boards, boards, boards. Yes, we pull it down. And now to the turnover. Oh my. Okay. All right, found me now. Good. We we look like we got to win. I can't believe we're actually going to do this. I seriously can't. I know my team was better, but they just played so badly. Can you miss that? Yes, he did. Okay, we are going to win this game because David Robinson with 10 rebounds. I love it. And to just add to it, make it seven points. Bang. We got to win. And what a game it was. My team, as I said, didn't play the best. Things didn't seem to be going our way, but we came out with a W. That's all that matters. And just look at Lamelo's stat line. In 20 minutes with 33 points, two rebounds, six Six assists, one steal, only two turnovers, shooting 12 of 18, actually a really good percentage, and also six of nine from three, 100% from the free throw, had three dunks, two fouls, unfortunately, but still such a good game. So now when we have a look at the upgrades and downgrades, first of all, we got 30 or more points with Lamelo, which is 15K. Then we got an extra 30K for winning the game. And then looking at the downgrades, all we did was we had two fouls, which is minus 10,000. So that means from this screen right here, we got 35,000 VC, but now we have to look at the top common rule because here it was actually quite interesting because I ended up breaking four shots with Lamelo. The rest of the misses we got like blocked and so on. But that means I have to minus 12,000 VC off that total. So that gives us 23,000 right now. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I was right. But then we got exactly 33 points, which gives us an additional 33,000. Which means from this game, we got 56,000 VC because we didn't do the bonus comp rule at all either. Which means right now we have just over 
173,000 VC to spend. You can see I'm not cheating. We got that dub. And I've got to say, although they all need contracts, I feel like this team did extremely well. Well, I know probably not extremely well, but I just see so much potential. And it's even better now that we can afford another box. So four Dark Matters in the last. We're definitely got, not going to beat that, but let's do another. It's kind of funny now because even Galaxy Opals aren't really going to make the squad. So another Galaxy Opal there. We got Iggy, not bad. I just want to see one new Dark Matter out of these packs. That's literally it. Or just one Dark Matter as a whole. I got to beat. I got to take what I can get. I mean, we do get Kevin Love, not bad. I'll probably use Kevin Love over Grant Hill. Mm, I don't know. It's a tough decision. Or maybe I use Christian. I don't know. You can see it's just so tough to figure out our team when we're getting all these players, but we need that Dark Matter. Stockton, Dark Matter, pull. Pretty, pretty, please. That's a Ruby and a Galaxy Opal. Not good. AD again, six. I'm feeling good with another Galaxy Opal. Christian, seven. Oh my. We got Tyson. We need to get one Dark Matter from this box, don't They're just all in the middle. I mean, it is a new player being Westbrook. Number nine gives me Dark Matters all the time. Not this time though. And number 10, this box hasn't been great if we don't get a Dark Matter and we don't. Wow, okay, we had one of our best boxes and now the worst. Let's just finish off with the non-deluxe. We've got two more of these after this one, just a Galaxy Opal in the first, AD. And then I'm gonna do a deluxe one after this. It's just another Galaxy Opal, I hate it. Stockton. And now for our final pack, it is gonna be a deluxe one. Let's get into it and let's hope it's a bit better. We had 10 packs and we got four Dark Matters. This time we did what, like 14 packs? Got 14 straight Galaxy Opals. A bit disappointing, but that's okay. We do end with Christian. But yeah, just like that, after all those packs, we only made one addition to the squad, and that was that I added Westbrook. But really, it's hard to make upgrades when this is our team. Literally this episode, we pulled Kobe Bryant, Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, but most importantly, this invincible David Robinson. So what an episode it was. I know I usually do two games, but because this one was so different with, you know, setting up the team and stuff, I'm only gonna do one game, but be sure to smash that like button to show me, first of all, that you wanna see the new episode come out ASAP, also that you've enjoyed the video, and also remember each one of you likes equals 5 VC. Oh yeah, also we have to remember that Lonzo Ball is all up to you guys. So yeah, a lot of reasons to hit that like button. But yeah, also be sure to leave your top comment rule suggestions down below as well. I love reading through them and you guys add so much towards this series, so thank you. Try and make them fun and creative so then we can go through it and see how that goes. But yeah, I don't even really know what else to say. I guess that might be the end. I'm excited though, because this season of Lamella's Legacy should be the best one so far. Should see a lot of dark matters and so on just by the looks of things it looks like that's going to happen but yeah thank you guys for watching this episode smash that like button subscribe if you're new follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye